today we're doing piercing points. So <clears throat> what that is, is that if we had a plane, right? So we've got a plane, and we have a line. Where do they where do they meet? So we got two, so we lay off one view, another view. We can see them. We don't know where they're crossing. So we're trying to find out where that that line is going to go through that plane. So how do we do that? This one makes it kind of easy, right? So where are they going to cross? Yep. Why don't you just extend off like on the bottom? Why don't you just extend it towards the front? Yeah, on the front view, if I just extend it. Yeah. Because right here I'm looking at the plane as an edge. Yeah, here I can see, and I'll see where it is and then project it off, right? And so I'm just going to use, I'm just going to join that and that. And then from that point, I can come up. So right, there, that's my personal point, right? Than that out there too, right? Why did I keep doing the separate lines and not just drawing the whole thing together? Yeah, because one's going to be behind it, one's going to be on top of it, right? And so what I also want to do is right at, the, at my piercing point, I want to draw a little circle. Just a little construction circle. Maybe make it a little bigger, depending on kind of what your zoom is. So you can see that that's where the piercing point is. Just a way for us to identify that that's the piercing point. Then how do we figure out what's on top? Go back to the one that intersects first. What? See which one intersects first. Yeah, so I can come from this intersection, remember like we did before, for visibility. So I'm just going to come from that intersection and come down. And what hit? What's that that hits first? The plane, right? So it means at that intersection, the plane's on top. So it means that this part of the line is our hidden part. So I can go in. I'll go to break at one point. Click on the line. Click on that intersection. Now I can turn that into a hidden line. Okay? And so that's done. What about here? What do I need to do? I need to see the plane how? On an edge, right? I need an edge view. So how can I do that? Okay. And that's why I need an auxiliary view. Where? Top view, do an auxiliary? No, yeah. oh. are, are there any lines there that are set up so I can do an edge view right now? Or in the next view? Or do I need to go two views to get an edge view? Do I have any lines that are set up there that will let me go to an edge view right now? You know, we're thinking back a couple weeks. Bottom right, line on the top the bottom right line. I don't know. Is there anything the top is showing me that I can do it? What did I need to, to get an edge view? Yeah, I needed a true length line, right? Do I have any true length lines in the front?
Is that one true length? No. Is that one true length? No. How do we know if it's true length or not? No. We'll, we'll make, how do we know that the line is true length? No, in, in the next view, it's parallel to the folding line. So do we have a line that's parallel to the folding line? Yeah, yeah, line. yeah right? So here, that line is going to be true length. Which one is top line? Mm -hmm. That one right here. That's that line. So if I come with that one this way, I get an edge view. That distance to that point, right? That distance, that point, offset from there to there, there to there. Now I can draw my line, and that's my plane, right? change that over to my plane. So that's my plane on an edge view. So now I do the line, same thing. If your computer's not locked, don't follow along. Extend because not ext. So I'll extend to there, that line, and that line. Draw my circle in there. Now, which ones, which part of it is the hidden part? Can you tell from here that this part is behind it? So that this is doing my hidden part? So break that first point, that line, that point, make that hidden. Okay? Questions? And now I can project that endpoint up. So now I come from this intersection. I'm gonna come down. It's the line first, right? So that means the line's on top there. It means that this is our hidden side. So break our first point, line point, make that hit. Okay. So questions on that? 
So that's called the auxiliary view method. Is where we're going to an auxiliary view to find, so we can look at it, so we can see the intersection like that. Okay? It's also called the two view method, which you only need two views for. You don't have to go to an auxiliary view. So here's the two view method. I'm just going to extend these lines to where they meet the edge. Now from those two points, I'm going to draw it down and transfer those points down to the next view. And then connect them. So this line was on this one, which is the same as that line. So I connect that point down to where that was. This one's on this side, go to that one. Then I connect those two lines. Right? Because if there's a line there. So I know that from last week, and, or two weeks ago, that if there's a line on a plane, it's on that plane no matter where it is. So we know that that's going to cross somewhere along that line, right? So we're just transferring that line down here to see where it crosses there. Yeah. So you could apply this method to the line before this? Yep. Okay, you're just showing Yep. There's just two different ways to do it. And now I can just extend this one. that. And there's my piercing point. Bring that back up. <coughs> so now I just need to figure out which one's on top, right? So, from this intersection down, it's the plane first. So, it means that the plane's on top here. So, break at one point, line there, hit it. So, now we do the same thing, <coughs> same thing here. Oh, plane first. This is our hidden part. We break it first. There, there. So there's that one. Questions on either of those three? So, auxiliary view method, two view method. We get the same result with both, it's just we do it a little bit differently. Okay? Questions on either of those? So then the last one, here now I've got a piece. It's like this. I've got a piece that's like this. I've got a line going through two planes that are joined on an edge. Okay. Top, front, and then a line going through them somehow. So how am I going to do this? To, to you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each plane by itself. I'm going to do this plane first, and then that plane. So you don't need, it's not, it's just you do it twice instead of, don't get complicated and think, oh, I've got to do this whole thing. Think, okay, I just have to do each plane. Yeah, question. So, so that means, if you break them up into two sections and the top piercing point, you're going to bring that 
closest to the sort of to the triangle, and then the second one is going to bring it closer again. You're going to use this plane and that plane, and then you're going to do that plane and that plane, because you're going to break it into the two planes. So you're just going to do this plane, and then go to that. Plane. <coughs> that front plane first. That's going to cross really close. See it's below, so you know that's going to be our hidden. We did that one. Now we're just going to do it back here. So actually, that point was still going to be the same. So it's just barely going through the corner. So we can see that from this corner, that intersection, it hits the plane first. So we know that that plane is on top there. <clears throat> and then we come from here up. We have the plane, so we know the plane's on top there also, or in front there. We need to get our point, so. That line is solid there. Said this problem really headed in for you. I don't know who that was. So, any questions? All right. So, your practice today is do these. You've got four of them. And you can solve them any way you want. I would recommend at least doing one with the auxiliary view and one two view. <clears throat> Just so you get the practice. Which way do you think is easier? Two, two view. But at, at least practice auxiliary so you get used to you get back to 
used to doing the edge view, so when you, when you do need to be able to do that. And then if you get to them, you want to do these ones. Now you're putting the line through a solid. So now it's just planes. It's still only going to cross through two planes. Just you don't know which two planes. So you just have to do the two view method a few times to because it might not cross through and other ones it might. Questions? This little plus right here, the guide wire is going down. And the angle between the guide wire and the vertical line is 30 degrees. So that's 30 degrees, no matter which way it's going. So is it going to always look 30 degrees here? If these are at different angles, these aren't, when in that front view, they're not going to look at 30 degrees, right? Because it's going to be kind of foreshortened. But this one, will that, will you want to see that one is real 30 degrees in the front view? Yeah, right? So what do you have, have to do to find out where those hit the other surfaces? Find out does that hit this or that? Does it hit the roof or does it hit the ground? And so in this view, since this is your edge view of that guy wire, your tr your true length of it, you can just draw it in, right? But what about this one? Can you draw it true length on this front view? What do you need to do? Yeah, you need an auxiliary. Well, that way, right? So you can see a true length, and that way you can. All, and then you also you have to project this plane to see if it hits that plane or if it hits the ground. Okay.